Simpler has a single LFO, which we can use to modulate four parameters within inside of our synthesizer. LFO stands for Low Frequency Oscillator, which means it's a signal source that generates a repeating waveform at a specified rate that is intended for modulating parameters rather than being a sound itself. So if we look, this LFO is found in the center of the samples tab or the center window pane of the control tab. We can turn it on or off, select which type of waveform, whether it be sine, square, triangle, saw down, saw up, or random, that we'd like to use as the regular repeating pattern for modulating our four parameters. We can then select or set how fast or how slow we want it to modulate, whether it be in hertz or in a rhythmic value. And then using these four boxes up here, volume, pan, pitch, or filter, control how much it's modulating any of those sources. So if we start with volume, here's our sound unmodulated. And I start to sweep in the LFO modulating the volume output of Simpler. We'll hear that. If I change the rate, the panning of our Simpler, changing the rate, go back, the pitch of our Simpler, this can sound really crazy. Or finally, our filters cut off frequency. Speeding up the rate. The last four parameters of our LFO is the attack, the key, the offset, and then re-trigger. Attack is a simple one-stage envelope that allows us to prolong the period it takes for our LFO to go from no modulation to maximum modulation from the moment that we trigger a new note. At 0.1 milliseconds, it's almost instantaneous. And if I change this to one second and have it affect the filter's cutoff frequency at 10 hertz, we'll hear that it takes one second for that filter's cutoff frequency to start to wobble. Then key controls whether or not the range of notes that I'm triggering my synthesizer with impacts the rate of the LFO. If with lower keys, the LFO will move at a slower rate, and with higher keys, it'll move at a faster rate if I've got this set to maximum influence. Offset allows me to specify where within the waveform the LFO begins. If I shift it over to 180 degrees, we begin halfway through and at 360 degrees, we're back to the beginning. Retrigger specifies whether or not I want the LFO to restart back at the beginning of its wave shape every time I trigger a new note. I would enable this if I wanted to have a consistent attack sound to my synthesizer. So with it retriggering here, versus non-retriggering, You can hear that my attack sound is constantly varying depending upon how that aligns with the LFO's continually repeating pattern. So one of the things I like to do is leave retrigger disabled whenever I'm working in a synchronized rate. So if I switch over to saw down, go to 16th notes, that the LFO just continues to run regardless of whether or not I've triggered a new note or not. So that's the LFO section, our low frequency oscillator that we can use to modulate the volume, the pan, the pitch, or the filter's cutoff frequency.